Hi, today's video is going to be very interesting. This video about sex determination in honeybees and the system of the sex determination in honeybees are very uh, different from what we have in humans or any mammals that is XY system or um, even from the uh, bird system that is uh, ZW in uh, mammals, uh, males determine the uh, sex of the progeny because um, males can um, transfer with the X chromosome or Y chromosome and in birds, uh, females uh, determine the sex of the progeny because they can uh, with the provide Z chromosome or W chromosome and thus determine the sex of the progeny. But in uh, honeybees, this system is totally different. It's called um, haplodiploid system. And in this system, um, we have uh, females, that is uh, phenotypically of the two types. Uh, one called is queen, another uh, one called uh, worker. And um, um, these two females different uh, by appearance, but genetically they are the same, but queen were um, um, fit differently, so-called royal gel, and um, thus become uh, a queen that is fertile. And worker were fit by normal honey, and thus became a uh, uh, worker, a female, but not fertile, and they are different uh, in size and very easy to uh, uh, differentiate between them. And there is a haploid uh, male, so diploid female and haploid male. So actually this information is enough to uh, solve the problem. Um, and uh, you may stop a video here and try to solve a problem on your own or you can proceed with my explanation and um, uh, you may try to solve the next problem on your own that's going to be on the next slide and uh, here my explanation so as I said um, uh, females uh, deployed and um, today's question is um, ivory eye is a recessive characteristic in honeybees while type eyes are brown so um, females uh, here is a question what progeny would result from an ivory eyed queen and brown eyed drone drone is the same like male Give both genotype and phenotype for progeny produced from fertilized and non-fertilized eggs. So, um, queen has, uh, as we told, uh, recessive uh, characteristic uh, that is uh, uh, ivory eye. And uh, let me change the color here. So, it's ivory eye and it's recessive. So what this give us? We know that uh, females are um, deployed, so we can use uh, E uh, to represent I, and uh, it's going to be EI for the ivory. And uh, we know that um, B, uh, bees, uh, queens are deployed, so can it be heterozygous for this trait, for example, EI and EB for brown? Uh, no, because we know that um, queen is uh, has ivory eyes, and if it would be heterozygous and wild type is brown, so phenotypically it also would be brown, so we can see brown eyes. But as long as we know that her eyes is... Uh, uh, ivory, so we know that um, it's double, uh, uh, it has two genes for the ivory color 
and those both genes are recessive. So this trait can be expressed as ivory. And what we know about the male, the drone, we know that um, it it is haploid and uh, his eyes are uh, brown. So we put E B for brown and um, can it be also uh, heterozygous? No, because uh, males are haploid. So all fertilized eggs becomes uh, females and diploid and unfertilized eggs that uh, queen lays uh, becomes uh, also can develop uh, and becomes uh, males that is haploid. So when um, male fertilize uh, a bee, a queen, uh, the sperm stores in a special compartment inside uh, a queen and um, by her choice a queen may fertilize eggs with this sperm or may not fertilize eggs. If it is fertilized eggs then uh, they are going to be uh, females and uh, from unfertilized eggs uh, males develop. So uh, for example if we take uh, if this uh, queen produce a female so it takes uh, one E that is uh, one gene that uh, uh, determines the ivory color and another another uh, gene that would that progeny would get from the uh, male this is going to be uh, E B because this is the only one gene that can be transferred to the progeny. So uh, we have here uh, heterozygous female, but phenotypically it's going to be to have a brown eye. And what about uh, male? So this is female. Um, And what about male? If this uh, queen lays uh, eggs that is not fertilized, and that means that uh, male sperm doesn't have any effect on such uh, progeny, so all the genes on we know that it's uh, haploid, so only one of the two but they both uh, stands for ivory, these two genes. So uh, the progeny only can get a um, gene for the ivory and it's going to be haploid, so uh, genetic composition would be com uh, haploid and um, one gene that is uh, designate uh, ivory color so male going to be ivory and um, so this is the answer for the first question and on the next uh, slide uh, uh, you may try to solve uh, a problem on your own or just proceed with my explanation okay and here is the second question what would result from crossing a daughter from the mating in part A with a brown-eyed drone? So uh, we may cross out uh, this worker that is female but infertile. And um, as we know, this uh, brown-eyed uh, female would have EI and EB. So it's heterozygous 
and it has um, brown eyes. And here we have a drone that is uh, homozygous and it has ivory eyes. So um, uh, what uh, we'll get from the such cross? Uh, so here we can put E that stands for ivory and uh, what's the progeny we can expect so um, let me draw uh, a sperm that fertilizes a female that is heterozygous so if uh, this female uh, produce fertilized eggs and uh, this is going to be two kind of eggs possible one uh, will have a, um, recessive uh, uh, chromosome and another uh, possibility for the egg to have a dominant chromosome that will uh, come from the mother side so this is 50% of such possibility and 50% of such possibility and another chromosome that such uh, progeny may, uh, female may get from the father side only uh, recessive characteristic so this is going to be uh, female. In this case, uh, it's going to be um, have uh, ivory eyes, and here uh, it's going to be genetically uh, heterozygous, but will have uh, brown eyes because one of the um, gene is uh, dominant. Uh, brown dominant over the ivory so 50% would be uh, have ivory eyes and 50% uh, would have uh, brown eyes so what about unfertilized eggs for the um, for the male so there is also two possibilities um, one that uh, this uh, chromosome uh, would be inherited and another possibility that this one would be inherited and here the sperm doesn't matter because this is going to be not fertilized eggs so only genetic uh, composition of the female matters and there is two possibilities uh, I I and I B. So 50% of the males going to be uh, going to have uh, ivory eyes and 50% uh, also going to be uh, brown will have brown eyes. Um, so, uh, I think this information will be interesting and um, there is more uh, funny thing before I finish. Um, if you look uh, at this uh, sex determination system, you may find that uh, males doesn't have a father, but they do have a, a, a grandfather and males also don't have uh, uh, don't have sons but they have uh, grandsons and that is very interesting so um, if you like this information thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel I post new videos and uh, problems every week so hopefully to see you soon thank you for your attention and goodbye